Anyway, my name is Izzy, I'm a sporadic YouTuber, and by that, I mean that I will upload this video, if you see this one, but I've actually made a hundred other ones behind it, behind the scenes of this video that I never uploaded because I suck at life and stuff. But anyway, so yeah, if you can't tell by the title of this lovely video or by what's in my hand, I'm doing a review of The Body Reader by Anne Frazier. Yeah. <laughs> it came out this year. It came out June 21st, I believe, and I picked it up instantly. I had it pre-ordered anyway. But yeah, so we're going to do the non spoilery part at the beginning, and then we're going to go into some spoilers. So a little bit about the synopsis, the plot of this lovely book. Um, Jude, Fo Jude, Jude Fondaine is a police detective, and she is she has been in captivity for three years. She was kidnapped and she has to come out into the world. She comes out of isolation and from being kidnapped and tortured and all that fun stuff. And she uses her, she wants, she goes right back to being a homicide detective and she starts to use her skills of body reading that she received when she was, you know, reading her captor because he's the only one he saw, she saw for three years. So she's kind of trying to use those skills to read body language of like the victims that she's dealing with in her, in here the victims of the crimes. And the first thing that I absolutely love about her, and I've said this before to other people, but probably not in a video, uh, I love her writing style. So I'm going to go into a little bit about that. It, Josh makes fun of me because some of the pages are literally one page. I mean, some of the chapters are literally one page, or there'll be three pages, or there'll be four, or there'll be five, or there'll be two. Um, there's really small chapters in here, and there's also really big chapters, but um, I think that writing style is so unique because I don't know if she does it on purpose, but it's addictive. It's like watching Netflix, like you just, one more episode, one more episode, one more episode, and it's the same thing with books. One more chapter, oh, just one more chapter. Oh, look, it's only two pages, it's just one more chapter. And before you know it, you are, you know, you have to get up for work in the morning. It's like two hours until you gotta be at work. <laughs> it's bad, it's addictive, but it's great. It's very smart that way. I don't know if she actually does it on purpose, but <laughs> if she doesn't, or if she does, she's a genius either way. I don't, it just, it, it's great. I love it. Um, another great thing about her writing style that you will notice probably immediately when you read it is that she tells the story from the perspective of everyone and I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, certain books like we'll, we'll just use the Faulkner Stars just because right there is told from one perspective or it's told from first person or you know it's told from one perspective and one person one main character. A lot of books are like that, and a lot of books are not like that as well, but she does it in a very unique way. Um, she will tell the story, like, <laughs> one chapter you'll be in, you'll be dealing, you'll be seeing the world from the police, her partner, her detective partner, um, you'll be seeing it from the perspective of a killer, you'll be seeing it from the perspective of a victim, of the, of a random person. It's awesome, I love that about her writing and it really keeps you on your toes and it really makes the story like very well rounded. It's really good, especially when she gets into like the minds of like the killers and stuff. Woo! I love it, I love it, I love it. So yeah, that's all I really have to say that isn't spoilery because I'm really bad with spoilers. So if you want to stop watching this, um, and read this book and then come back you can or if you've already read this book you can continue or if you don't care about spoilers then continue but from here on out I'm gonna talk about some spoilers all right so there were three major points that I really three like headline points about this book that really stood out to me the first was Jude and Ura's relationship. Ura? Is that how you say his name? I have no clue. Um, it really was quite different than from Elsie and David's. It was quite different um, and I l really liked how their relationship is developing and I love that about Anne Frazier. She doesn't make characters, especially female characters, she makes really, really strong female characters that don't rely on anyone. I love it. I love it. Um, she, 
it's <laughs> she makes them just so real and so realistic it's it's perfect I love it she really developed the relationship well and I really hope she writes another book if not then whatever but I would love to see another book with these with these characters because I really would like to see where the relationship goes I love the fact that they didn't end up together I love it I love it although a part of me would love to see them get together later on down the road perhaps but I love the fact that they they're both kind of like tortured souls and going through their own own, like psychological problems right now and they're both dealing with a lot but I really like just loved how their relationship was just kind of real like it was just a, a little awkward and real at the same time does that make sense like the last scene in the book where she's where they're talking they're trying to catch the cat well they do catch the cat and you know they're talking about keeping the cat and it's just quirky and just it's just it's just it's real I loved it and I love the fact that they didn't end up like romantic together you know like I loved it loved it I love the way she builds relationships although Elsie and David oh my god I just want in in pretty dead spoiler alert if you haven't read any of the dead series I just want them to bone already <laughs> I just want them to get married and have a hundred kids and just be together and it <laughs> but a part of me really likes how she builds up the relationships and she really takes her time I love it I love it so the second thing that I really 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 loved about this book was the psychological perspective of it like the the mental health part of this and I don't know if many people really took it into consideration when they read it um I, I know I noticed I don't know if anyone else really noticed but I really like the way she touched base on like the the mental health in the book I, I really liked the way she did it she did it very well and in my opinion um I liked the way that she went to the psychiatric ward and she got drugs and the drugs made her like a zombie they didn't really work out for her and maybe the reason that she was having these emotions was for a real reason in the end and yeah I loved it I loved it and like Ura is really upset about his wife killing herself and I just I they were so real and the mental health was there and it wasn't there was no stigma on it and it wasn't it wasn't like in your face kind of like look at me I am you know crazy uh, nothing like that where it's just like smack in your face it was just kind of to me it was kind of subtle and it was done really well like everyone has issues in their own way and everybody has different ways of dealing with them and I loved that I loved it um, because sometimes medication does that to you when you deal with mental illnesses sometimes they shouldn't be medicated sometimes they need to be things that you need to work through or sometimes you really do need to medicate them because there's like a chemical imbalance or something's wrong Anyway, yeah, little side rant. I loved that about this book. I love the mental health part. So good. Oh, another thing about the mental health. I love the fact that the girl was getting like Stockholm Syndrome. The girl, Al Al Octavia, is that her name? I can't remember. Uh, I really love the fact that she was getting like Stockholm Syndrome for her captors. Captors? Cap captors? <laughs> I loved that. I loved that. That was another really subtle mental health thing that was thrown in loved it so the last thing that I loved about this book um the ending wow yeah I reached the ending and it kind of blew my mind uh, I posted that I finished this book on Instagram if you follow me on Instagram you notice yeah mind blown uh, it took me forever to just formulate thoughts about this book and the ending and how I felt oh my goodness who who Jude, yeah, Jude, yeah. I just, I didn't see anything coming. Oh my gosh, I, her brother and her dad, I didn't see it coming at all. I thought maybe he was kind of sketchy, the dad, and I read up to where the brother was the bad guy, the bad guy, <laughs> and then I, I think I put the book down, came, went to work, and then came back and finished it, and I'm like, what? Her dad's involved too? Why didn't I just finish this in one sitting? You like that? What? that was my reaction <laughs> mind blown the ending was so good so good loved it and then I loved how it ended on that little subtle note of them like catching the cat and everything was just normal and loved it so overall it was a really really good read I definitely recommend it if you like murder mystery thriller suspense genre and even if you don't like it this is a good book in general she's a great author to pick up if you're not if you want to try out that genre I recommend her she's a queen she's a queen I bow down to her uh, 
Anyway, I give this book five out of five dirty Polaroid pictures. <laughs> Is that right? That's wrong. I should just do five out of five, like, captive, captive person's journals or something. But no, I did dirty Polaroids. I'm so wrong. There's something wrong with me. Seriously. Oh, but anyway, yeah. So if you have not picked up this lovely book yet, I recommend it. I seriously do. It's so good. If you do not, yeah, if you're not interested in picking it up, then what is wrong with you? <laughs> if you haven't read any of Anne Fraser's stuff, at all, I seriously recommend you pick up one of her books. So good. Any of them. Any of them are amazing. Anyway, peace. I'm out. Goodbye. Have a good night. If you have any books that you wish that I would do a review on or that I would read, please let me know in the comment section below. What are you reading? What are you up to? Let me know. If you've read this bad boy, I want to know. If you haven't read it or you plan on reading it, let me know. I don't know. I'm running out of things to say. I need a drink. Peace. I'm out. Goodbye. And Bane is coming to say hi. Say hi. Hello. Oh. You went down. You hate me. Look at him. He hates being picked up. I'm so mean. I'm such a mean mommy.